What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Today I have to thank you guys because you actually drew my attention to a brand that I was aware of but not in depth and that is Massimo Dutti. Many 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 of you have asked me to do a haul from Massimo Dutti and when I was recently on 5th Avenue I stepped inside and you know what? Today is the day. Today it's happening. I got four looks right here. It's 12 pieces in total. Everything you're going to be seeing today except for the shoes that I'm wearing right now is going to be from Massimo Dutti. The shoes, if you like them, are from Saks in-house brand. I'm going to be hopping in all the different looks and talk about the pieces as I'm putting them on. So let's start right now with what I'm wearing. The pants are a super slim fit chino in a stone gray, I would call them. They're almost like a little bit greenish, which I really like. One thing I love about Massimo Dutti is a really clean, classic aesthetic, but you still have pants like the ones I'm wearing right now that are really slim and tapered, almost like uh, fits from Top Man, which you don't really see in a lot of the more traditional retailers. So I absolutely love that. Up top I'm wearing a dark green turtleneck, super slim. You've seen a few of the turtlenecks in previous videos from Massimo Dutti. I think they're awesome. It's a great staple and they're great for elegant, classy basics like this one. And up top I found this beautiful, functional, water repellent blazer. It was actually merchandised like this in the store, the combination of the darker green with the more washed out green, so I can't take credit for that, but I do think it looks absolutely awesome together. We are moving a little bit towards spring, so what's in store and a lot of what you're gonna see today is not something you can necessarily wear right now. But looking a little bit into the future, this is a great option for when it's not super cold out and you don't wanna layer up, but you still wanna stay dry when it rains outside. So this is look number one for you guys right here. to the next piece which is a washed out red Oxford shirt. I have wanted to get one of these for a really long time. I don't know, I've always looked at them but then I never really thought my wardrobe would allow for easy integration into other outfits but now I pulled the trigger and I really like it. The fabrics feel super nice and let me show you how I combine it. Up top I chose to go with this cable knit sweater. It's a fairly loosely knit sweater and it's made from cotton which makes it actually somewhat wearable into spring and even summer. If you take a white t-shirt underneath and throw this bad boy up top, you can actually wear it on a more chilly summer night on the beach or something. But I really like this. I love the color of the sand and I really, really like the pattern that this knit has up top. I chose to go with this trench slash MAC coat. Similar color as the sweater and I personally really, really like it. The whole combination, you see the sneakers tying the gray and the sand color a little bit together and the red kind of just as a pop on the bottom of the sweater and around the neck, which I think is really nice. Now, full disclosure, I would have loved to have this look with a pair of dark denim jeans or even a lighter wash, but I wanted a pair of dressy jeans. Unfortunately, what I saw in the store, one, just I didn't love the wash and the other one, I didn't love the fits. So I decided not to integrate denim and rather use the Super Slim Chinos once more, which you'll also see for the third look, spoiler alert. And this is what I ended up with. Quick side note, I'm only hanging this sweater for the purposes of this video. Please don't ever hang a knit as loosely as this one. Sorry I had to look at the hair. I'm, I'm fixing myself, I promise. Next up we got this sand button down collar shirt. As I now saw the button down and I realized that this doesn't have buttons and no tab in the back. This is not an Oxford shirt, I apologize, I misspoke. It is just a button up shirt. But, once again, we have the sand color. Would have been a great addition to this look as well underneath. The way I shop usually is creating looks, but keeping in mind how those pieces can all work together. So while I shop this as a look, I knew in my head that this was something that would definitely go with either one of those pieces as well, as with the rest of them as much as possible. But back to this shirt, I really like it. It's super lightweight, definitely for the later days in the winter, early spring, maybe even mid-spring, because it is super light, but I really like it. I like the fit. It's a little bit more relaxed than the red shirt that we had looked at before, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit more of a relaxed vibe every now and then. And then I found this 
beautiful unconstructed stretchy knit blazer it has a little bit of an unfinished look to it what's interesting is around the sleeves there's no buttons you'll find it's actually more so like the bottom of a pant the way it's uh, hemmed which I like I don't I don't necessarily miss the buttons but overall I like the look it's relaxed the sneakers pick up once again on the sand color of the shirt and we're introducing some navy and even a little bit of a black vibe with the pattern blazer move up the collar you'll see that that looks kind of nice I hope and even if you wanted to wear it a little bit more dressy you could tuck the shirt in and make this a look now I'm gonna be honest this look is not my absolute favorite I love all the pieces but I was struggling a little bit to put it together so if you're not a big fan of this look I get it please just think about the individual pieces like this blazer is absolutely beautiful as is this shirt but I'm trying to package it nicely for you guys to take a look at just yet but we'll focus on this button-down dress shirt I think it's beautiful it's a little bit rough in terms of the feel but I really like the suiting section inside of Massimo Dutti it's like I said like the rest of the store fairly classy nothing too crazy but the one crazy thing that I did find we're gonna talk about in just a second but just so you guys know it's a great option if you're looking for classic timeless pieces that are really fairly priced and the same goes for this classic gray cashmere crew neck sweater absolutely love it honestly I feel like I don't need to say much about it the fit is beautiful the way it feels is absolutely amazing let me just jump into the full look so we can talk about that because that's gonna take a little while longer all right now what am I wearing it's a suit but the suit jacket is elongated almost like a overcoat that's something that I've been seeing on the runways a lot for the past I don't know at least four or five six seasons maybe even and it's something that I wanted to play with for a while I could have chosen a normal suit to show you guys that they do great suiting but I wanted to do something a little bit more special and that's why I picked this great plaid suit just before we go ahead quick note about the pants I actually just went shopping yesterday so I did not have time to get them hemmed or tailored I might actually have to size up and then have a lot more work done at the tailor but I wanted to wear something that at least looks slim throughout the leg and then I'll have to work on the hem another time but I really like the way this looks it's definitely a, even though the suit is so classic and I think that's what I like about it it's a very classic suit the only thing that's really special about it is the fact that the jacket is so long it is super lightweight and I know it's something a little bit out of the normal but I hope you see they have great options when it comes to suiting too even if you have to imagine that this is just a regular suit jacket that is it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed this Massimo Dutti haul in a little bit of a new format other than what I've done in the past let me know your thoughts I know a lot of you requested it so I would love to hear especially from you guys whether I you know did it right I guess <laughs> if you like the video please give it a thumbs up let me know down below in the comment section if you're not subscribed to my channel yet make sure to change that and turn on the post notifications as always all the links to shop are down below and let me know if you want to see more than those four looks if you're down for a lookbook leave a comment down below maybe we can do something like that in the future but for now I want to say goodbye thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with the next video until then stay dapper guys